comrades, Kamisabro here today, back with our, uh, well, another part, in this case, of Making History, Gold Edition, that's right. If you all remember correctly, we had just fought Poland in a very desperate war. They put up a strong fight, but they were no match for the might of the Soviet Union, that's right. So, without further ado, let's figure out what to do next. If I remember correctly, I think I'm at war with other people, too. Uh, let me see, let me see, let me check my diplomacy. Click on everything but diplomacy. It looks like we're actually at war with uh, France and Iscati. I'm not sure who Iscati is. Bla Bilbao, Bilbao, where the hell is that? Okay, I don't really know. Oh, that's right. That's in uh, Spain. That's right, because we were fighting over in Spain, and the French pretty much overwhelmed us. Like, yeah. <laughs> I think they actually wiped out my armies there. Yeah, and that's right. All I have left is the Rostov army. That's not good. So what that means is either we're going to have to make a beeline across Europe to get to them, which if the Germans give us access, which they do not... Yes, means we're going to have to do. However, the problem with that is my fleets are most definitely split up. Hmm. It's not good. It's not good at all. Well, that's all right. Let's go ahead and end a few turns and see what happens. Uh, we still have the Baltic fleet up there in the north. We have the Vladivostok fleet. Or the Pacific Fleet, anyway. It's called. It's not very big. Those are our three main fleets. And we actually don't even have a really powerful navy as far as things are considered. Uh, and compared to even the others. I mean, we have the seventh most powerful navy in the world, which isn't bad, mind you. But it's not enough to uh, really do much damage. Let's see how big this navy is. 905. 55 with reinforcements, 55 reinforcements. If only we could get the Italians to join our alliance, which, of course, they won't. It's, damn, God, all these stingy people who live around us. Why does no one want to be friends with the Soviet Union? It would be in your best interest, trust me. All right, let's take our armies. What do we have? We've got 40 at the Plask. And the Moscow. We're going to take that basic heavy tank and we're going to throw it on with the Moscow. Uh, we're going to take those. Oh, that's a Romanian. Romanian divisions. Uh, let's see. What else do we have? We've got some light tanks. The Leningrad army. We're going to keep that there for reasons we don't want. Oh, the French have a fleet that's bombing us. Oh, shit. They must have another fleet sitting right there, like right outside uh, the Black Sea. That's not good, that's not good. Well, we're going to go ahead and get out this fast battleship. Now that we've got this, sexy baby, we're going to tap that bad boy in with our main fleet. Did one of my ships damage? Were one of them damaged? No, okay, no, they're all good. All right, all right, all right, everything looks good. I'm actually going to take this off luxury goods, and we're going to start producing more ships. We need ships right now. The war is on, ladies and gentlemen, and as such, it's going to be a big one. France's main strength, um, just like it was in real life, is mainly its navy. I mean, yeah, sure, it's got the Maginot line and whatnot, but we're not going to be worrying about that particular line. We are going to attack from Spain, but my concern is also that the poor Spanish aren't going to be ready for that. Let's go ahead and send out the Polask and Moscow army into the Western Black Sea. There's a massive French Navy in the Aegean Sea, which we've actually almost completely sunk already. Uh, we wiped out their carrier. It's good. They have a light cruiser and a destroyer. It means our fleet's going to be bogged down for now. Uh, I don't think my Air Force can reach. No, it can't. But we'll rebase it to Wallachia in case the French send reinforcements, which without hesitation, they did. So we're going to provide air support to our fleet there. Uh, it looks like we're winning this battle pretty handily. As long as we don't lose our battleships. If we lose our battleships, we'll probably lose. But we do have air support now. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Bam. Brought down another 10 uh, French ships. 
Another 10. We have sunk multiple battleships. Look at that. We've sunk a carrier, uh, three battleships, three light cruisers, nine destroyers, and four basic submarines. We And we still have the advantage. Uh-oh. The French have captured Pomors. It looks like the French are going on the aggressive side. Like, they're actually attacking us. I'm surprised. They're going on the offensive. I didn't expect that, but that's okay. The Russian army is more than enough to take care of this little insurgency upon my lands. My main concern truly is losing my entire fleet, which is looking like it's about to happen. I mean, the airplanes are definitely helping, but it is not enough. There goes the fast battleships, and definitely we have been defeated. The French have just overpowered us, and I have wasted my transport capacity on my uh, on my land army so we're gonna have to land back in Russia that sucks that's uh, that's about 30 to 40 transport capacity that completely wasted but we can't afford to lose that army oh my that's not good not good at all I didn't expect to lose so quickly but the French reacted very fast. They were not taking any chances, which was a smart decision on their part. So, what we're going to have to do is we're actually going to have to rebuild our navy because that was pretty much our main navy. At the same time, though, the Baltic fleet might actually be powerful enough to break any blockades. And Spain has been completely occupied by France at this point. We're going we're gonna to move in our Baltic fleet from the Bay of Biscay and uh, see if we can't do some more damage to the French. Uh, try to blow up some more of their ships because the difference between me and France is they can't rebuild their navy. I can rebuild mine. <laughs> so, you know, we're going to take that with the grain of salt as far as it goes. Okay, we did a little bit more damage. We still lost the entire Baltic fleet. Uh, but we did wipe out an additional four cruisers, three destroyers, a battleship, and a basic infantry division, which must have been trying to sail through that area. Uh, we're building heavy cruisers, blah, blah, blah. We're going to need more ships. We need more fast battleships, definitely, without a doubt. This is another uh, naval facility. We are going to pop out some, I guess we're going to do destroyers from this one. I want to have a very, I like having combined armed fleets. There's no reason to focus entirely on one thing. Uh, it's that, that would just be stupid. Like, truly stupid. Oh, it looks like Stalingrad is, I forgot about Stalingrad. <laughs> it's actually got more industrial capacity now than even Moscow does. So that's almost in the heart of our great empire, and it's ludicrously rich. Looks like the Mongolians are actually even sending some reinforcements that are marching through there in Tiumen. Hmm, interesting. Very interesting. Very interesting. All right. Let's see. What else do we have? All right. We've cleared out French aggression in Pomors. Uh, start making me some handicraft goods. Metal is in short supply. It's not good. It's not good at all, actually. That's could be a concern. I didn't realize I was so losing so much metal a turn shit oh my I'm gonna have to reassess my situation here because oh that's me offering metal I must be just yeah I must be selling metal oh not much update trade flow okay okay I'm importing a lot of oil or coal anyway and I'm gonna keep doing that because coal is very important, especially late game if you've conquered the world. If you run out of coal, you can't do anything. So we're going to keep that in mind. I'm going to send this, uh, the 45th Army to the north. Uh, do, 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 do. Let's see, let's see. Okay, I think everything's pretty much good to go. I'm going to, I'm going to start positioning more dudes on the coast to make sure, like I'm going to move the Middle Asian army down there. We've got the Polask army and, um, and Kyrgyzstan, and we also have the Moscow army and Crimea. We're making sure that these regions don't get occupied by France. Hungary and Germany. Oh, Germany declared war on Czechoslovakia, I see. Interesting, interesting. It seems like Germany is going forth with its plans bit by bit, so we have to keep an eye on that, ladies and gentlemen. Yes, we do. 
Yes, we do. Basically, the main thing I'm going for right now, if I haven't said it a million times already, is I'm rebuilding my navy. That's the main focus here, so I'm going to play a little defensively uh, until that is fully realized. Because, yeah, we're, we're vulnerable right now to invasion from France. Not that they have a massive fleet or anything, but they are definitely giving the one-two to our ally, Republican Spain, who is probably going to die to the French because they have naval superiority and we do not have a land bridge. If Germany would give us military access, we wouldn't have this problem, but they're not going to. Now, we also need to keep in mind that Germany is now a major threat to us, a major, major threat. So we've, we've definitely got to keep that, keep that in mind. And I'm even going to move, I'm going to move my main forces uh, to that region. I don't want the Germans to sneak attack me because that would be bad. <laughs> that would be very bad and we're not ready for it. Oh, look, the Axis declared war on the French. Very interesting. That's going to... That's going to do some damage to the French. And with that, I think... Oh, look, Italy's joined the Axis. Czechoslovakia has joined the French Alliance, which means I am now officially at war with sweet, sweet Czechoslovakia. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and send these guys in. But anyway, I'm going to go ahead and end the video here. I think this is a good place to uh, bring it all to a close for today. Thanks for watching, guys. This has been Commissar Bro. If you enjoy, you know, like, comment, subscribe, all the good stuff and the good things, so on. And, uh, yeah, let me know. Let me know what you, uh, what you think and uh, what you'd like to see. It seems like the war is really starting to gear up now. There's major blocks in the world if we look this way. So, yeah, it's, it's starting to get really interesting. Uh, Brit England will probably get involved within the next Let's Play, I'm sure. So, anyway... I'll see you later, com comrades, and I hope you all have an amazing day, and I hope you all had a great Thanksgiving. See you later, guys.